We have with us today Professor K. L. Baskaran, a supply chain and international logistics expert with 36 years experience. He is an alumnus of the Indian Institute of Management, Calcutta and holds a number of certifications from EPICS, the Associations for Operations Management USA, ISM, the Institute for Supply Management USA and ASTL, the American Society of Transportation and Logistics. Welcome to the ASB Voice of the Expert Series, sir. Thank you. In a recent report on industrial production by the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, India has been ranked among the top 10 countries globally. What do you feel are the implications of this for the Indian supply chain and logistics industry? Well, India has come up with in manufacturing. We make a good quality products on par with the expectations of the world market. In terms of uh, innovation, yes, we are coming out with innovative products. Our manufacturing processes are well set up. We have invested a lot of cap in, lot in the capital equipment for manufacture. It is time for us to look into the supply chain and the IT integration. When it comes to supply chain, probably we have to improve upon the processes within the companies and from the supplier to the manufactured from the manufacturer to the customer and also the IT implementation in India has to go some way to achieve optimization in supply chain in India. Now that you mention IT, what are your views on the integration of IT in supply chain? IT till now in India has been mostly used for transaction processing. We have to come out of this and use IT for this as a decision support system. And also, when I talk about IT in supply chain, one of the core things in supply chain is the integration of the supplier and the customer of the manufacturer. IT should uh, enable the company to integrate the suppliers and the customers with that system so that when a customer approaches the uh, system, company, he gets an end-to-end -end visibility and he also gets into uh, the, uh, also the velocity keeps increasing. So when the supplier talks to anybody in the organization, he should be able to answer any question that is posed to him because he has the entire supply chain network available in front of him. In this year's budget speech, the Finance Minister Mr. Pranab Mukherjee touched upon the effect of inefficiencies in supply chain driving up retail prices. Indian agriculture and retail are still tightly protected by legislation. What are your views on this? Well, 35% of the aggregates produce is lost till it, before it reaches the customer. This is a, a very high figure. It's very alarming. That means if you produce 100 kilograms of potato, only 65 kilograms reach the customer. We have to work towards in, uh, improving the supply chain of uh, food products in India. We have to have, have a long way to go. For example, we don't have enough cold storages. The farmer who is making the produce, he is not advised or he is not uh, trained on how to store the uh, food items when they are made before they are shifted to the customer. So we have to improve the entire supply chain, we have to reduce the time, we have to improve the storage and supply chain of the food products. You have mentioned the high cost of the logistics industry. What do you perceive as the impediments plaguing the industry and how can we resolve these issues? In India, logistics cost is 13% of the GDP, which is extremely high. We have to bring it down. For example, if we take the total logistics cost, 40% of the cost is towards transportation. That means we are not selling food trucks. The trucks are getting held up on the way because of the problems of documentation from one state to another. And the roads are not proper. In India, for example, only 6% of the roads are motor roads. We have 3.3 uh, million kilometers out of only 6% are um, multiple roads. We have on, only 8,500 kilometers of four blood traffic in India. So we still have a long way to go in terms of road transportation. Mr. So Pranab Mukherjee recently said in the budget we are going to be 20 kilometers of road per day, which is a very positive sign. When it comes to rail transport, though we have the second largest uh, system in the world, still only 30% of the goods are moving by rail. Here there is a big opportunity to increase the share of rail. As regards airport, 80% of the Indian cargo by airport, by air moves through only four airports. We need to have more airports. Though we have a long coast time, we still have only 12 major ports in India. There's need to have more and more 
seaports in India. So overall, if you take the logistics in India, there's tremendous scope for improvement of logistics. When it comes to warehousing, again, we are not using the latest equipments. We still are, uh, the equipments are loaded and unloaded manually and stored manually. We have to go in for automated equipments. So what are the job opportunities in the logistics industry? Over the next 10 years, I foresee that there will be 5 million jobs in the logistics industry. Now, in India, the outsourcing is only 18% in logistics. There's a tremendous scope to improve the outsourcing. So we need to have a lot of managers who manage the outsourcing. So I would urge all the students to take up supply chain management and logistics as a core uh, function and then try to learn a lot in supply chain and logistics areas. So, how does an aspiring supply chain management professional keep himself abreast of the latest developments in this field? I would strongly recommend that the, the professionals do some certification courses available both in India and abroad. These certification courses are designed in such a way that they have a shelf life. So every periodically they have to go and recertify themselves. So when they go for recertification, the syllabus would have changed by the time because these syllabuses keep changing based on what is happening in the industry. By doing these certification courses and getting recertification done, these professionals can update their knowledge. Professor Bhaskar, it has been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. This is our Harish Narayan, postgraduate program and management student at Asian School of Business, Trivandrum, signing off.